Good morning, buddy. You like you like stepping up there. I don't mind. You can be up there. Yeah, keep an eye on things outside. Huh? Yeah, keep an eye on things outside for your daddy. Make sure everyone's behaving themselves. Well, thank you. I'll go outside in a minute, buddy. First, I gotta finish my orange crush. I gotta finish my orange crush. Happy Sunday, by the way. Looks like Sophie's having his breakfast after mine. I also had a life cereal. That was pretty good. With milk, of course. I think he's taking a little break before he went to Woods Walk, huh, buddy? <laughs> Almost done with my soda pop. Almost done. I got just a little bit left. Just a little bit left, okay? Yeah. <laughs> he's looking at it like, what is that? Poison. Yeah, it's probably not good. No. Oh, what a good little kitty, huh? Almost done. One more swig. Yeah. Whoa. That's a good balancing act. Ooh, that's a noisy chair. Okay, I think he's ready. I'm ready too. Ready, buddy? Hmm? Oh. Got a vacuum. Oh, man. How is it like comfortably warm out here and freezing in my home? That makes no sense. Oh, uh, maybe because it's dark. There's no sunshine. Oh, it's so sunny out here. I can't even see you on the camera. Oh, the glare. Yeah. How come you like to roll around in all that dirt, buddy? <laughs> okay. Hmm? How come you're so loud outside? Are you just happy your daddy's with you? He likes to boop things on the fire pit. A little spider landed on my hand. I don't know if you can see that. I can't. There we go. It's gone now. How does that just happen? A spider lands in your hand from nowhere. Probably was a web I missed or something, you know. You eating that grass, buddy? You eating that grass? Is that what you're doing? Icky, icky. Why are you doing that, mister? Why are you doing that? Oh, you're going to come check on your daddy? I, I know. Ooh. Is that, that's that bird he killed, I think. Gross. The possum hasn't come by and cleaned it yet. That's crazy. We'll have to, I guess, give him a, a pay the doctor pay a little bit. Yeah. The janitor's not doing his job or her job. Yeah. Look how pretty it is outside. It's nice and warm today. Yeah. You want to just chill there, buddy? That's okay. You can chill there if you want to. Yeah, you don't have to go in the woods. It is nice, though. I think I'm going to go. I'm, I think I'm going to go for a stroll if you want. If you want to join me, you can. Whoa. Let's see if we mm -hmm. run into your turkey. <laughs> he always sharpens his claws in anticipation. Yeah, don't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. How nice it is up here. I think I have to do laundry when I get back. Yeah, it's a good day to do laundry. I should vacuum too, but yeah, whatever. Meow. Yeah, you think I should vacuum? You don't like that. They use the V word. He don't like to vacuum one bit. No, he doesn't. Okay. Meow. No. Yeah. Maybe I'm going too fast. I'll let him lead. <laughs> That's a cool picture of that path right there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's for your opinion, buddy, huh? Just kidding. Pretty soon these will all be filled with berries. So many berries, you won't even know what to begin. We make some berry jam for my buddy, my buddy Boone, and my other buddy, Mark. Yeah. I have a handful of buddies named Mark. But as you can imagine, probably only one friend named Boone. Yeah. Never told him this, but that's kind of an unusual name. These days, anyway. Oh, what a nice flower. Look at that pretty flower. Yeah. Isn't that cool, buddy? Uh-oh. 
He usually doesn't just tear off like that. He must have saw something. He's on the deer trail. Which probably has a bunch of ticks in it. We'll have to be careful. Oh, there's deer over there. Hear that? Flashing through the woods? He certainly does. The camera might not pick it up. But it's pretty thick back here, you know. Your daddy can't keep up as well. Oh, it's a cardinal. He wants that. See that? There. Yeah. I think it's gone. He probably comes here to hunt, and I'm sure I messed this whole thing up. He probably does this for hours. All right, buddy, well, I'm gonna let you be by yourself and do this. Okay, you be a good boy. I'm sure you'll probably destroy some things. Okay, yeah, he's on the mission. We'll leave him be. It gets pretty thick in there, and I will only serve to ruin his stealth. I am an awkward, large human. <laughs> I'm not. A four-legged hunting beast. And anything I would hunt, and I don't, wouldn't be back here, because there's no bad people back here, <laughs> as far as I know. So we'll see if he joins us later on on the trail. You really can't hear from here, or you can't see from here, but... You hear birds freaking out and he's climbing. He's like six feet up a tree. Yeah, you hear that? He's he's effing up their day right now. Oh, there he is. Look, look, right there. I'm gonna try to zoom in a bit. It's a little distorted when I do that. Whoa. Monster, you hear the birds are telling each other, Stay away, there's that, that dang cat's back. I don't see him anymore. <laughs> oh, he's got to be the worst nightmare for birds because they are never safe unless they're in flight, and even then, he can get them sometimes. I don't know if he's coming for us next. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Quite a detour, huh, buddy? Oh, you know what? It is turkey season. I gotta be careful too back here. He's looking at me like, what, what am I doing? Something bad? Hey. Hmm? When the flower season's done, I'm gonna take, I would hate to take the weed whipper down right now over here because I don't wanna destroy these beautiful flowers. But once it's past flower season and past the berry season, I'll probably weed whip a nice trail through here. I don't wanna disturb our berries either. It reminds me, years ago here, a few of my buddies were here, we were having a good time. I think we were probably drinking too and doing fireworks, which is always a fantastic combination, right? And <laughs> we weren't that messed up, but anyway, we were launching fireworks, and I forget what they were, but a buddy of mine did something kind of dumb, but was not shooting them that far in the air, and they were going, or I think it was, I don't remember, but I think it was just one, one explosion happened in the woods, and it hit a popular place where I looked for berries, and I kind of reacted. I was like, no, my berries! And both my friends just died to thought it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Get my priorities, man. I don't want to lose my berries. Oh, uh oh. Oh, it's a bumblebee. Look. I wonder if bees like these flowers. If I, I don't really see them on these flowers, they must not like them. They say the bees are hurting right now, buddy. They've been hurting for a while. I guess somehow if they die, everything goes down. It's kind of like how things are now. 
everything relies on one another, you know? Even the seemingly useless or annoying things usually, if not always, have a purpose. Except I haven't figured out ticks yet, except for being a food source of marsupial possum. Yeah. Look at you, king of your log pile. It is an absolute perfect day. Low wind, it's cool. Oh man. It's like, oh yeah, that tree, I, I did that, I caused that to happen. A tree beyond that pile split in two. Actually, yeah, it fell backwards and got stuck into another tree that was over here somewhere. So I dropped though that tree, and then they both fell into a third one, I had to drop all three, and then they finally came crashing down. So I have kind of a bare spot here, which actually ended up being perfect. I'm standing on the stump of one of them, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this had to have been where it happened because of that damage on that tree. Hey, buddy. I think the, the coolness upset a lot of ticks too, which is great. There's some berries, they're coming, slow but sure. We are gonna have some berry picking. Yeah, I gotta make, I wanna make a number of, a number of them, I don't know how many. I probably, they're, they're smaller cans, but sometimes I make bigger ones, but I wanna make at least 10 cans this year. Oh, he's expecting that hole. Uh, the hole where the woodchuck went from yesterday, I think it was. Yeah. You gotta be careful in the field, buddy, because it's turkey season now. There could be hunters out there looking for turkeys. I don't want them to get you. You know, you are not a turkey. What's this, buddy? Oh, it's a barbed wire. There's one here too, this is a trip hazard. Be careful. Yeah. It's kind of in the way. There we go. It's better. Oh, that's kind of dangerous too. I just gotta go back here and trim up some. Yeah. It's pretty nice back here, isn't it, buddy? Isn't it nice back here? I don't know what kind of crops are going this year. Soybeans, corn, I don't know. It's whatever it is in its infancy, isn't it? Yeah. Hear those birds? Sounds like a robin. It's the state bird of Michigan, so you're not supposed to shoot them, I don't think. But I'm sure Cinnabon does. With his teeth. It's right at the back of my property line. Goes into the field slightly. There was a, before I lived here, there was some dispute about that. It was kind of funny. Who knows? This rock is kind of sparkly. <laughs> Has a grub on it too. I think it's a fossil look. It was a little honeycomb kind of look. Yeah, that's a fossil. Neat, I don't find too many fossils around here. Put it over there for safekeeping so the farm stuff doesn't run into it. Although I can tell they've driven through here a few times. Yeah. I have trees that fall and they, sometimes they just don't care and leave, leave them and they'll, they'll push them into my woods. <laughs> Whatever. Like this one here is one they did this too. You can tell. Big ruts. Look at that. Just roll right in there. 
Cinnabon likes this tree. There's another one back there that he likes to climb. Yes. Oh, look, I got a burr. Even Nikes get burrs, not just cats. I should find out where there's some state land, and I know where there's some places I can just wander. Of course, I can't bring a cinnamon there. That would be dangerous, but it would be cool for mushroom picking time because I'm pretty good at finding them. It just kind of comes with experience of doing it for a while. About five years in my case. You just know what trees and what type of hill. It's just interesting how it works. You just, you just find them. Yeah. There's a lot of state land out there where people probably never go. Or go so seldom. Ooh, look at these mushrooms. I think these are pretty big. I'm not really good at finding... Aside from morels, I don't know about the other mushrooms. I don't know, I don't know what else we can get. Oh, there he is. Yeah. It's just a gorgeous day. I'm gonna sneak through here, buddy, okay? Ooh. That was sticking my back. Oh no. Whoa. I don't see any berry bushes back here, but they do happen kind of worse than mine is. I don't see, you know, I don't see very many doing it though. Oh. Hopefully the farmer didn't. Uh, spray something that would have killed them because normally you have a whole bunch of them back here. Oh, that's a little startling, actually. Well, they pay more attention. Maybe I just missed them. Maybe they're late bloomers. Yeah. Don't know what kind of tree this is, but the stumps in there are pretty good yet. Because this one's pretty much like a, like a weak play doh. Bugs like that, though, so we let it be. But look at that, it's just, it just decomposes. That whole thing's ready to go. If you wait long enough, you don't need a stump grinder. <laughs> We're talking a very long time. Eventually, where a tree was, as it rots, some of it, or most of it, turns to dirt. But there'll be a little bit of a divot where the tree was. Which is always interesting. Well, buddy, I'm going to head this way, okay? I'm going to inspect my berry bushes. Yeah. Actually, it'd be easier if I go out your way. I'm going to just walk along the end. Yeah. yeah, this isn't very lively either. Oh, I don't want to hurt you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was kind of bad. Watch out, buddy. I don't want to get you. There. That's better. Go this way. Go this way. Yeah, see all along here. These are berry bushes from the previous year. I don't think they're producing right now. And they all appear to be not good. So I wonder. Yeah, because I'm having the babies growing. The baby bushes are growing. These are all dead. I wonder if they... I don't know. Come here, buddy. Farmer sprayed something, I don't know. Yeah, a bulk of my berries are on my property, like on the interior. Oh, he loves that tree. But there were a ton over here, and they, they all look not great, but maybe they're late bloomers. I don't know. We'll see. 
we got some vegetation growing, so I don't think anyone can look we killed these. That's where a lot of my berries are. I'd get a lot of them back here. The year before, they didn't produce as much as the year prior. Okay, see, these are the ones I'm talking about. That's how they should look right now. See, they got little berries started. But all in there, these are all dead. So that tells me something happened. Yeah, who knows? It's kind of a bummer, though. All these in here. Oh, there's more, yeah. Yeah, this this will be a berry picking paradise back here. Go ahead and get out of here so I don't step on it. I don't want to mess up the berries. Oh. That's, that's weird, though. I don't know about that. What, what could have caused that? Here's some that are okay. Closer to the interior. Well, they're not great, though. I don't know, buddy. I don't know what to think. Something happened over here. Do you like it back there? Hi. <laughs> you gotta burn your foot, buddy. I can get it for you. Watch out. Got it. Yeah. That helped you. Yes. See, look how much of a helping hand I can be. Yeah. It must be nice being able to get up that high. Your daddy wishes he could do that. Well, I could, but it'd be a little bit of a challenge for me. Yeah. Loop around, buddy. I'm gonna meet you on the other side. I'm still perplexed by all these dead berry bushes. I don't know. Maybe it's a life cycle thing. Maybe they just don't propagate again. I don't know. It just seems too weird. Look at all that. I think it's dead. Hmm. But not. Oh, not in here. Can't reach this far. Where'd the baby go? Where's my baby? There he is. This is really cool. It's the tree that sort of grew into another tree and it became one. I think he just likes hanging out in there. Oh, got some thorns in my pants. <laughs> All right. Watch out for the cable fence here. Well, this video is probably quite long enough, so thank you all so much for sticking around. And I wish you have a safe, and I hope it's as wonderful of a Sunday as it is over here for y'all, too. So we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. But we're back already. I wish I was recording. I heard the weirdest thing. It sounded like a child was running. I didn't hear any noises as far as running through the woods but you know how like kids will just go will just run around and yell or scream or whatever they just do that like as if they're having fun something was doing that right over there that was freaky i mean noise travel is kind of weird where i live it could have been somebody closer to the homes but some of them looked too so, like a kid was going ah, just kind of walking through the woods but in like a cheerful way it wasn't like they were afraid it was just like they were just like a, like a, a child running and just yelling because it's fun interesting we'll keep our eye out maybe there's somebody actually back there i don't know it sounded pretty close though very interesting i don't know maybe a hunter took their kid out uh, just hunting for fun yeah i don't know huh. we'll keep an eye out well, i don't hear any more ghosts buddy that was weird I think I want to go back that way just to see if there's anything over there. That's like the famous uh, line in, in the, all the movies where the people are always. It's kind of a joke about white people and that. Oh, hey, we heard something over here. Let's go over there and check it out. And they just walk over there and get destroyed. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> uh, I think there's a meme about that too. It's really funny. 
they show a woods and there's like a sign saying X amount of people have entered these woods and never came back and all these terrible things and you, you never want to go there. And then it shows a bunch of white people walking in there and just like casual, like <laughs> they know that you shouldn't go there. All right, let's see if we can find a ghost. Or hopefully somebody that's actually there. That'd be kind of weird though. I mean, heard somebody yelling and it sounded like they were exhausted. But I didn't hear any like thrashing through the weeds. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. We'll go back that way through the trail. All right, buddy. Maybe you'll catch up later, huh? Or maybe not, whatever. I don't see anything. Cinnamon's having fun over there. We'll leave him be. Looks like he's oh he's he's starting to come over. <laughs> he must be tired. I mean, sound travels weird, but it sounded like it would have been right over here somewhere. It was pretty close, maybe a little farther away. You coming, buddy? Cinnabon, you coming over here? Cinnabon. Oh, he's making his way here. Slow but sure, you can barely see him. I, I can see him in real life, but I can't really see him through the camera. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, mister. I was wondering when you'd be coming over. After this, he's gonna sleep for a very long time, I would imagine. I still can't get past all these flowers. Hey, there you are. Gonna help your daddy go out? Trying to find a screaming child. The happily screaming child, I guess. Screaming child sounds terrible, but it was like a they were having fun. <laughs> like a kid going through the toy aisle at Target running to it because it's 2002 in the premiere of the toys for episode two for Star Wars, like me. <laughs> I remember that. My mom got me out of school early that day. That was cool. Star Wars used to be less secretive. They would release the toys and the books before the movie because they knew people were going to buy it to spoil the movie. And they call, I think it was called Force Friday. I don't know if it was a Friday back then, but that was a huge deal. I still have the toys. I bought a deluxe Django Fett and a deluxe Mace Windu action figure. And that was super cool. I remember I had shoes on that. The shoes, this sounds weird, would leave skid marks, like rubber skid marks if you dragged your feet or just ran. It was kind of just a bad design of rubber. And there were big streaks throughout the whole store because I was just practically ran to the aisle. <laughs> they really have um, Mattel is a Mattel for Jurassic Park is an exception. They've done really well with the, with the Legacy line, with the Jurassic Park toys. But Hasbro has not done great with Star Wars. They release figures of characters that are just really boring and. Like they, for some reason, they will not release a new Luke with a lightsaber. And he was in the movie twice with one. Actually, three times. So why not? Like, that's what kids want. They want a hero. You know? Like, as a child, why would you buy... I've, I've bought these, I guess. But why would you want to buy an alien with zero weapons that doesn't do anything in the movie? And not have a Luke. Like an old Luke with a lightsaber. That'd be so cool, you know? I know, yeah. You don't care about that. Oh, it's okay, Joe. You don't have to, because it's really no concern. They did release cool Mandalorian vintage action figures. I got a couple of those. Uh-huh. Yeah.
Peekaboo. Where'd Cinnamon go? Peekaboo. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm just looking at the trees, buddy. Seeing which ones are not doing well and are sick or dying. Oh yeah, I see one. That one's pretty close to the property line. I don't know if I mess. Won't mess with that one. Some of them, some of them you leave to let nature and God take care of them, you know? Plus birds like that. Ooh, there's his favorite stick. I know what he's gonna do. Yeah. See, I don't want to move that because he loves that. It's just so funny how he just picks that. There's sticks everywhere where he picks that one to mark. It is going to be super long, I think. We might break the internet when we upload this one. Got a bug on you, buddy. Is it a tick? I don't know. I don't know what that was, but I got it off you. I haven't heard a peep from a, the child ghost. Kind of creepy. I was just talking to someone on a, well, via text about the movie um, The Sixth Sense with. Bruce Willis. I almost said, I was thinking of Signs with Mel Gibson. Different movie, probably similar premise. I hope to have the RPG 7V video done. I've said this for a while. It's been in production for in production. It sounds very nice. A few months, if not several months. It's pretty much done and just need to do one more section where I'll be doing a woods walk with it just because it's really ridiculously hilarious to be doing a woods walk with an RPG. And my brother is going to film. Maybe next weekend we'll wrap it up and then I don't know when I'll post it. That's a video that uh, of all, any of the videos that I ever have that are risk being pulled by YouTube, that's going to be one of them because I go into fairly great detail about the RPGs and some people may view that as like training but it's really not. It's just kind of a nerd thing for me. But there's things that I learned about the RPG that I had no idea. Pretty cool stuff too. Yeah. It's one of those videos that when I upload it, I make sure I have it saved elsewhere. <laughs> cause if it pull, if it gets pulled and I lose it, I'd be so upset cause I spent a great deal of time on it. It's a fun one. It's different. And Cinnamon's actually very interactive through the whole thing. It's really quite funny how well he integrates in the videos that have zero to do with cats. That's some, that's the challenge of those types of videos, trying to get him involved. Look at this, buddy. It's kind of a, a little pit down there, huh? Yeah. You gonna climb that big tree? You gonna climb that all by yourself? I have no doubt you could. Yeah. I'd probably start a load of, ooh, that's another stump. Ooh. Probably start a load of wash when I get inside. Yeah. It's the laundry time. I'm gonna have to wash those jeans that I bought with dark stuff because brand new jeans that are dark. Ooh, man, you will dye whatever else is in there blue or, or like a a gray. Maybe we'll throw them in with these older jeans. Maybe they can turn them uh, blue again. It's actually a good idea, isn't it? Okay, buddy, well, I'm gonna head back now, okay? You can take as long as you need. zero kids out in the neighborhood right now so that I can tell it's interesting I wish I was filming then of course who knows if it would have been picked up or not
Maybe it was a bird that sounded like a child. I bet in a week or two these berries will be producing. That's when the real fun begins. He's gonna help me too. I'll have to get out the cool whip containers, get those ready. It's super sunny over here. It's really nice. Get a nice tan, just chilling. It's too bright for me to read a book outside, unfortunately. My eyes are kind of sensitive. And I have to have sunglasses in all my vehicles. But if I'm reading out here, the it reflects off the sunlight reflects off the pages and just blinds me. Same thing at a restaurant. It's really embarrassing. I can't have the menus on the table because they reflect light and they just blind me. <laughs> so I have to get sunglasses. I was in Florida and I, and I had sunglasses, but I forgot to bring them with me. And I had to basically buy like a $15, $20 pair of sunglasses at a gift shop because I couldn't keep my eyes open. I was basically blind and I'd open them every once in a while with just tears. It was crazy. So what happens when you have light colored eyes? They, they're not, you're at an evolutionary <laughs> disadvantage. Well, look who's back. Hey, buddy. I bet you're gonna sleep like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta get some energy first.